In this video, I'm going to show you how to replace your coolant temperature sensor on this Toyota Camry with a 2.5 liter four cylinder engine. Let's get started. Before we start, I already put some thread sealer on these threads if it doesn't already have some because as soon as the old one comes out, I want to put this one in immediately so that we lose as little coolant as possible. To get to the connector for this, you can reach right between the air box and uh, the engine here. You'll see that it is right here next to this heater core hose. You can get it with some needle nose pliers if you have some. You can squeeze the connector gently uh, right on that locking tab. Once you squeeze that down, you should be able to just wiggle it and pop it free. Okay, so I broke it free. I'm gonna stick my pliers in here. Let's try to pry it off. There we go. that off. Now you'll need a 19 millimeter socket, a deep socket, to put over that sensor. Keep in mind, coolant will come out as soon as we pull this out, so have a collection bucket ready to catch that coolant. Get that socket seated, break it free. At this point that I broke it free, I'm going to take my socket off and I'm just going to spin it by hand. Okay, coolant is coming out, so I'm gonna quickly take the new one and plug the hole by threading it in. This is why I had my thread sealer already prepared. There we go, get it started, thread it in all the way. That's bottomed out. I'm gonna grab my socket again, just give it a quick snug. You do not need to crank these down a lot you just need to snug them. The thread sealer should do its job and seal up the threads nicely. That's snug. Just a little extra is all you need. Otherwise, you can uh, do some damage there and pull this off. And let's reconnect it. Line the connector up. Now, it may not line up exactly the same way as it was before, so you're gonna have to kind of feel for it, find out which direction the connector wants to line up in this time. When you slide it on, make sure it clicks. This one did, it won't come off, and there you go. I lost very little coolant when doing this job, so I'm not worried about it. My overflow tank is full. If anything, after you run the vehicle, just double check this. It should pull from the overflow when it needs a little bit extra. If you lost a lot, you're gonna wanna top it off in the or through the radiator cap over here. Just unthread this or twist it off and uh, top it off until it's full. I can see coolant right down here, so I know mine is good. Like I said, I'm just gonna let it pull from the overflow. But at this point, take it for a road test, make sure everything is reading properly, that sensor especially, and there you have it. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.